The Lord be with you. Beloved God, you set before us the promise of new life in Christ. May we live in the power of his resurrection and bring forth the fruit of your gentle and loving rule. Whatever gains I had, these I had come to regard as loss because of Christ. Paul writes this morning to the Philippians, going on to say, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. This whole stunning passage may well contain everything passed down about Christian witness, Christian living for hundreds and hundreds of years. From generation to generation, we have professed, taught our children, proclaimed to strangers that those things which make you feel enviable, make you feel powerful, make you feel grand, are nothing. What you have is nothing. What I have is nothing. The only thing worth anything at all is life in Christ. The way of Jesus is not a box you check off. It is not an award you receive. It is not even a club you join. Surely there are scholars and theologians and pundits aplenty who are writing tedious manifestos outlining the exact bare minimum requirements for salvation. Not unlike the Pharisees Jesus is talking to this morning. There are literally tens of thousands of books written about the bare minimum conditions under which we can call someone a Christian. And that isn't mature or serious faith. God in Christ is an extraordinary miracle. God in Scripture is bountiful, copious, infinite love. The God of all creation loves you, seeks relationship with you, came, lived, died just for you. Any question of what is the minimum appropriate response is not taking the miracle of God in Christ very seriously. The question of what is the minimum we can do isn't even taking ourselves seriously. Let me put it to you another way. These Ten Commandments we read this morning, these are not a checklist to be accomplished and then celebrated. I got up this morning, I drove here, mostly the speed limit. I got up here, I did not once in the couple hours I've been awake murder anyone. I don't get points for it. I don't get patted in the head for not stealing anything today. I do not get congratulated every time I leave my neighbor's wife or donkey alone. These commandments are not minimum requirements for righteous living. They are a good start. These commandments are guiding lights in an often dark and stormy sky. They are not the end we seek to achieve. They are guideposts. These Ten Commandments are guideposts along the way to something greater. God is love. God is abundance. God is generosity and joy and hope. When we take God seriously, we don't spend time trying to figure out the bare minimum we might do in response to God. When we take these hundreds of years of Christian witness seriously, we start looking for the most we can do in response to God. 
when we know what it means to be as deeply loved as each of us most assuredly is by Jesus, you're going to want to give that love right back out into the world to strangers, to neighbors, to family, to friends. Jesus' gift of salvation, of life, of hope is so abundant, so enormous, so copious, so extraordinary, so very much that the only way we know we're taking it seriously is if we feel compelled to join in. I said the only way way we know we're we're taking it seriously is if we want to be a part of what God is doing. The way of Jesus is not about the least we can do. The way of Jesus is about what's the most you can do. Those of us who are able can go across the street in a few minutes to unload more pumpkins. And if we're all being honest with ourselves, Beth just lovingly shared with us the absolutely only things pumpkins have at all to do with Christianity. But this church, this community isn't about the kind of bare minimum Pharisees arguing over what's the least we can do, turning our nose up. This church is earnestly trying most of the time to live out our call to follow Jesus and to do the most that we can do. Talk about manna from heaven. That pumpkin patch raises money for feeding people with the Alive and Lazarus Ministries and with Christ Church Mealhouse Program. Pumpkins materially support housing and homelessness services with Carpenter's Shelter and Community Lodgings. Pumpkins pay tutors for children who can't afford it through the Alexandria Alexandria Tutoring Consortium, supports business training and private loans through the Five Talents Organization. Our pumpkin patch touches lives in Haiti, Uganda, Iraq, and half a dozen countries in the Episcopal Diocese of Jerusalem. Buying pumpkins clears landmines, fights for environmental justice, supports supports and ministers to poverty-stricken children, isolated and uh, and isolated and impoverished retirees, incarcerated and rehabilitated Americans, as well as political and religious refugees in this country. The way of Jesus isn't about scraping by, doing the absolute bare minimum, seeing about how little religion we can get away with and still call ourselves Christian. The way of Jesus is about taking what we have, what we've got right now, lying around what we have access to in this moment in time and seeing what the most good we can do with it is. The way of Jesus is about taking what we have and figuring out how to make it love and serve other people. Just as Jesus Christ takes all that he has and has figured out a number of ways to love and serve us. The pumpkins themselves got nothing to do with Jesus. They are a cultural thing, a seasonal thing, decorative 21st century Halloween prep. All by themselves, they have nothing to do with us. But put them in hands like ours. People trying to take God's love and abundance seriously. People trying to take the way of Jesus seriously. Just watch those pumpkins change people's lives. Watch those pumpkins change the world. Everything in our life should be like yonder pumpkin patch. Everything in our life should be about what's the most good I can do right now. 
the God of all creation has promised you and I that whatever we think of life on this earth, we are meant for something far greater. Everything in your life should be a guidepost on the way to that. Amen.